All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, I pulled this old gym out. I uh, bought this for my wife over 30 years ago so she could just plink around when I'm out there shooting. Uh, it's a Ruger 1022. Uh, I don't know how old this one is. I think it's pretty old. It was used when I bought it. I got a BSA scope on it. And today, we're going to be shooting various, um, what are they called? Uh, these are called standard velocity rounds. So they're all 40 grain. I uh, got Cellier and Below Club, Ely Match, Ely Rifle Match, Aguila Super Extra, CCI Standard Velocity, Federal Gold Medal Target, Norma Tac High Performance Target, and we have here. CCI 40 grain hollow point small game so we're gonna shoot that at 50 yards it's supposed to be pretty windy today uh, but I haven't been out to shoot in a while so I, I need to get out there and shoot um, so that's we're just gonna test what the velocity is don't know how many rounds have been through this barrel I probably put maybe three or four thousand rounds um, I'm gonna try to check out the um, serial number and see how old this gun is um i don't know what it's i don't know what it's uh zeroed for so we're just looking for groups we're just looking for groups and i'm going to do this again at 100 yards with the exact same ammo i'll be doing another video with the high velocity rounds uh 50 yards and 100 so if you would subscribe if you want to watch that and hit a thumbs up um so let's get to the range let's see what she does see all right back from the range so this is what I got with the CCI varmint 1.82 inches not very good here's another CCI standard velocity 3.048 inches didn't like that at all uh, here's the Norma tech and I had one flyer it was probably me so the groups 1.464 but if we use just those four 6.41 or 0.641 here we had the Aguila and it was 0.955 over here we have the Federal and I did pull that top shot Either way, we got 1.003. Here we go to the SX ammo. It was 0.639. And then here's the cellular and below. And I did pull that one that's farthest to the left. Um, 1.109. Um, the only thing that changed today in my shooting was that I uh, started using a bipod. So I'm kind of getting used to using that. I usually just use sandbags. Uh, trigger, not very good from the factory. I've got this brand new trigger that's going to go into another gun. Another Ruger 1022 that I bought. An old one that I'm going to try to, you know, give it a second chance at life. And I'll be doing a video of that one pretty soon where I'll replace a lot of parts on it, including the barrel and the trigger. This one, this trigger breaks at two and a half to three pounds. So I'm really excited about it. Um, thanks for watching my videos and I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.